Hello micro punters all over here. Look what I have here. Uh, this is a little plastic bag uh, with uh, Daphnia. Daphnia are water fleas um, and they are sold as fish food. Uh, but uh, of course they're also quite interesting to look under the microscope. You do not always have to try to find them in ponds um, but uh, you can also buy them commercially. Um, and what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to take them out. I'm going to put them into this uh, glass jar here and I also would like to add a little bit of yeast because that's what they like to eat. And I'm, I already see that mm, many of them are already dead. Um, I stored the bag with the Daphnia in a refrigerator overnight but because it's already several days old uh, I see that not all of them are moving anymore so hmm, I'm maybe we're not going to be that lucky uh, to see many of them alive. Uh, but in any case, uh, maybe um, when they start feeding them, maybe they're able to reproduce. And after a few days, I hope, maybe there will be a, a few more. Okay, but uh, let's, uh, let's see how this works. Let's, uh, let's carefully open it. Okay, and let's pour it out. I think uh, most of them actually were flushed out. So, now let's have uh, a look. Okay, there's so much stuff floating around, so many Corpses, Daphne corpses, it's very difficult to actually see some any of them move, but maybe you can see that there are some of them that, yeah, that swim around in the water. What I'll be doing is I'll be adding a little bit more water. It's important that you use old water and definitely not water with chlorine. So here we go. And if you want to catch uh, these Daphne, what you do is you need a plastic straw. You place uh, your finger on top uh, um, of the straw. You insert uh, the straw into the water sample and then you quickly let go and you close it again. And uh, then you can transfer the liquid into um, a new container. And that's the way that works uh, quite well. So, and what I'm going to do now is, is the following. I'm just going to directly place uh, the the dish uh, under the microscope. Uh, I'm not even bothering to transfer the Daphne on a microscope slide. I'm just going to do it like this. And uh, maybe we're lucky enough here as well. Let's be careful that we can... Yeah, see, it does not uh, touch the water. That's important. Okay, now let's see what we can find. Well, I mean, there are lots uh, of dead Daphne and lots of dead body parts floating around here. But yeah, some of them are alive. But this looks, this is, this is a mess here. It's unbelievable. Yeah, individual body parts, the, a digestive system floating around freely. Here is a completely a dead one. I mean, the dead ones do have an advantage that uh, they don't move around as quickly. They're easier to observe. This bacteria starting to eat up dead Daphne here. I have no idea. No, they must, they're too large to be bacteria. Be small ciliates or something else here. Okay, well, that is now a Daphnia right uh, in the middle of the field of view. It's moving around vigorously, cannot move forward because I did not include enough water, but you can see the organs moving quite nicely. On the right side, the eye, yep, now it's a little bit too low, but it's trying to move forward, but can't. So you can actually see that uh, it's uh, quite uh, vigorously trying to escape. And now I'm trying to add a little bit of food. This is a dried yeast. Uh, I, try, I try to carefully pick up one of the grains um, and to add it. Here you can see the grain and all of those little dots, these are the individual yeast cells. And yeast, that is a good food for the Daphne. And you can see here it is already, it's moving around. Um, and uh, if you look carefully, you can actually see that the individual yeast uh, cells are being sucked in here right at the top, for example. Just look at the little dots. Uh, they're all moving uh, towards uh, the mouth and they're being sucked in. And now it's moving around again a little bit. Um, and it's uh, like this, that if you give uh, enough food to the Daphne, then uh, that's basically my hope, then they're also going to start reproducing. But again, look at the top, right? Uh, the eye can be seen on the left side. And a little bit beneath it, you can actually see that uh, there is a place where all of those little yeast uh, cells, those little tiny dots are being uh, taken up and eaten up. So you can actually see that it's taken up the water and with it all of the suspended particles. And yeah, here these are the yeast cells again, okay? 
and all of those dots are the yeast cells and here at the top we again see the water flea moving around I have to refocus a little bit yep here we go again okay um, and by moving uh, and uh, beating uh, around like this it's actually making sure that it will always um, obtain more of the food here now you can see it again quite nicely that it actually takes up um, the individual cells here as well actually these cells make the water movement visible quite nicely Well, I think uh, that's enough for today. I hope that you again liked this video. Like and subscribe in any case. It also shows uh, that you do not need any expensive or fancy equipment to uh, do some interesting observation work uh, using microscopes. I wish you a nice day. Happy microbe hunting as always. I leave it up to you whether Daphne should be considered microbes or not. After all, they are quite large and can be seen with the unaided eye as well. Wish you a nice day. Bye-bye. All the best. <laughs>